My name is Jason Yunus. I'm a fifth generation tinsmith in the Delgado family tradition. I teach classes and I also sell my artwork both at local galleries and at shows. I was led to becoming a tinsmith by watching my grandmother create her tin work. I was immediately drawn to everything that she did around tin. I wanted to sit by her bench and just watch her work and create and uh, it just inspired me in a way that uh, nothing else I had done. I find teaching tin work very rewarding for a number of reasons. One of them is that I just like the idea of keeping this artwork and tradition alive through the actual techniques and skills to create that work. Um, but secondly, because it really feeds my soul. I really, really uh, have a joy that comes out of seeing people discover themselves, to rediscover what they can create and sometimes to just surprise themselves with what they can do. Um, it just brings me a lot of joy to see that. I live very comfortably off of my tin work. Uh, I'm able to provide for my four children and give them everything they need to have their various activities. We're able to travel when we want to and we have a comfortable home. So I never felt like I really traded off anything to be able to enjoy my craft. You know, I continue to do tin work because it's never stopped feeding me. Uh, it's always given me back uh, plenty in the way of connecting to my family and its traditions, in the way of uh, seeing the joy that it creates in people. Um, I, I, I never really get tired of it. In fact, when I'm working on tin, it's a very stress relieving process. I actually um, feel unencumbered and uh, less stressed out just by creating work. See how that's put together. Now the plans for this will be available. People will often ask me where the next generation of tinsmiths will come from and uh, my children will have the opportunity to enjoy tin. I would love to be able to share it with them and teach them but it's going to be something that they can come to. I was the only one in my generation that continued to do the tin work and I want my children to have that same opportunity to find their own joy and passion in it and come to it, not have it as something that will be placed upon them. When I think about my future, I think um, up to now I've really tried to fill my part as being an apprentice to my grandmother as uh, honoring my family's traditions and honoring the Spanish colonial arts traditions. Uh, but now that I've trained apprentices myself, I've essentially replaced myself in the Spanish Colonial Arts Society. And I'm uh, beginning to want to grow as an artist into other areas uh, and other mediums. And so I'm looking forward to exploring those as I go forward. I will always keep traditional tin work as part of uh, the crafts that I'm creating. Um, it's embedded in me and it's a part of uh, what I consider a, a blessed and, and joyous life. <laughs>